fine. Now, so we have seen uh, basically ellipse, then we have gone for parabola, then hyperbola. Again, I will repeat uh, the basic differences. Ellipse is a closed curve. You need to have a two direct x, one in the left hand side and right hand side. So from direct x, you are fixing a point, you are drawing a perpendicular line and there you are fixing your focus, then your vertex and from that you take different uh, divisions of number of points, then you start uh, measuring the values and taking arcs in the both the side, you join it. Finally, you take a tangent and normal uh, with that focus point to any other curve with 45 degrees and the it. So that is ellipse. Then again parabola, the difference between ellipse and parabola is ellipse you need eccentricity value, some value is given suppose 3 by 4 or something will be there whatever it is. Uh, so I can say ellipse eccentricity value of Klug I can say it should be less than 1. It won't be 1 and above. 1 cannot be there. It will be less than 1. So it's 3 by 4 or whatever it value it will be. Then the second was parabola. In parabola I told the value of eccentricity is 1. Okay, It's midpoint of with the fixed point to the focus the middle point will be your eccentricity or you can say vertex is that point. And now coming to hyperbola, this again. This hyperbola is again, see one question is given, say draw an hyperbola given the distance of the focus from the directrix again. So we know what is the directrix means, the basic a straight line directrix as 55 millimeter and eccentricity as 1.5. So this is important value, we should differentiate between starting ellipse then you go for parabola, then now hyperbola. It's 1.5 value is given. In the sense, so once you draw the directrix, okay, I can take the point as AB, whatever it is, you can fix any point, and you not go for another directrix as such you did in ellipse, not required. Now you choose any point, any arbitrary point, you choose it, draw a perpendicular line, second step. Then what you do? You fix up the first your distance of focus from your directrix. So this point I will take it as uh, say E, okay, and focus distance is suppose 55 millimeter, you fix F, is that right? Now, now your step is to fix, what is the next step? To fix the eccentricity value of 1.5. How do I take a value of 1.5 here? Previously it was 3 by 4, out of which is 3 and 4 we have taken it. And other one is 1, mid, mid value. This 1.5 does not mean that you should cross this focus F. See, suppose this is your, say, what is this, 55 millimeter. If this you consider as a 100% you know, value, it does not mean this is 1.5 means you should cross this value and take out of this point. Okay? Which means you should take a value out of this 55 millimeter. How do I divide a value? 1 and 0.5. How can I add it? So, for example, I will take 33, a value. And I'll take bar 22. Means eccentricity is the meaning between whatever the value you fix. Say suppose I'll take uh, your vertex F. I mean sir V. This V F to V E is your eccentricity. Correct? I say V F first by V E. This is what your eccentricity means. Right, right from this, this uh, you know formula holds good for everything. Say for example, all this, uh, okay. So, this holds good for all the problems, right from your ellipse to whatever it is, you know, um, uh, you start parabola, hyperbola, whatever it is. So, normally we fix an eccentricity in this way, that is, from the distance between your vertex, V is vertex here, F is focus, okay, focus point. So this Vf by Ve, this fixing point, should be your eccentricity value. See, this holds good for your ellipse. We have seen it is 4 by 3 by 4. That means this value is equal to 3 by 4. That Vf should be 3 and Ve should be 4. That's what the idea is, right? And uh, this Vf by Vv is equal to, simply, it is 1. For what? In parabola. Now, hyperbola, it is given 1.5, which means this we have to suit the given distance that 55 millimeter in terms of this. How do I make it now? Vf is the value and V is this. How do I do this? So Vf is your 33 
I can take a value because when I add up this, it will come 55. Is it correct? And this will be 22. Okay. And this will be again 3 by 2 and it is 1.5. This is how you calculate. See, only difference is first ellipse you have some value which is less than 1. So, is this less than 1? I am sorry. Like this? 1 will be great. So, it will be less than 1. It is for ellipse. Second, in parabola, it is equal to 1. This value is equal to 1. Whatever it is. The distance is same. You are fixing the first point, the directrix. From the directrix, you are fixing a focus point. It may be 60 millimeter, 55 millimeter, whatever the given value. Then the next step is you are fixing the vertex. The vertex fixing is a question. For ellipse, it is maybe like this. It is 4 by 3 or 3 by 4, whatever it is, but it should be less than 1. That is, you know, that is a standard value. Then for parabola, what we did before, before this problem, is it should be 1. It is equal, that is by 50 percentage of this. If you just measure this 55 means half of that will be the vertex point for parabola. And this hyperbola, it is 1.5. It is given as 1.5 in this question, but it may be some other question, 1 point something else. Some value, but it will be 1 above. That is your clue. Okay, You cannot find a value of hyperbola which is less than 1. Never possible. So, that is your idea to understand. So, this is how I am making it. So, this distance is you should not by mistake take think that 1.5 means I am going out of this line and mark the vertex outside. Vertex will not lie outer outside to the focus. It is inside the focus only. Okay. From directrix to focus, in between that alone the vertex has to lie or it is only in between focus to directrix. So, this value you should calculate like this. So, 1.5. So, what I do to know? This Vf should be 33. And V is 22. That's all. So, I'll, so which should be a bigger value? Millimeter. That is millimeter. A little bit make like this to show it properly. In this curve, what I have fixed here, I'll just make it here. Okay, here right. This may be 33 and this is 22. That's it. Then the remaining process is as such. In the sense, what we did for parabola is only changes. Parabola, as such, you do, you fix this point. Then you go choose uh, any point here, random point here, take one, then fix it equal number of points, then you make it a parallel lines uh, for all your points. This is focus F, all your points you make a parallel lines. See I will not be, will not be drawing very neatly in the board, I repeat, because once you practice in the drawing sheet, that is a 3 sheet alone, you will get the proper values, the parallel lines the arcs properly cutting the both the sides then the values ok so it will come like this then you take the value of say suppose this is uh, a point number 1 this is 2 3 4 s is whatever it is the distance is as you such so keeping center as f f to 1 as the distance you cut an arc here ok then this arc is as such is. then f s to 2 you cut an arc so it goes on coming this so you will find this value will come like this, like this, because when you draw it, it will exactly be perfect. Then from this point, what you do, you fix from the focus point here, you draw a line which is 45 degree line again, remember, because the same procedure for you used for your ellipse as for uh, parabola, hyperbola also, this line you need to be a point M, so from this point, you can either take it this side or this side, whatever uh, it left to you for to draw the tangent. So, I can take this side also, you just take it like this, this is for tangent. I can go like this, ok. This will be your tangent. And normal is what? To this line, perpendicular exactly. Or from here, you just exit your normal line finished. Let's see your drawing. Normal, normal means perpendicular, it is normal, perpendicular. Tangent is passing through the curve, that is all basics. You know that. So, difference is first ellipse, then parabola, hyperbola. Kindly keep, you know, understand that ellipse means closed curve, 
you need two direct tricks. Next come to mind, eccentricity is less than 1. Whatever the value may be, it's less than 1. Not 1 also. Not equal to 1 or not more than 1, it's less than 1. Second, you go for parabola. Parabola, you need only one direct x. Second, it is not required. And simple clue is eccentricity is only one value. It's midpoint of that. In this, you take 50%, fix the vertex V, that becomes eccentricity. Then, hyperbola. The procedure of finding out this eccentricity is same for all. The distance between the vertex and focus first divided by the vertex and the fixed point of any fixing point of this line becomes your eccentricity. So this value, what is given should be, should suit that. Say suppose 60 millimeter, 30 by 30 becomes 1. So this is 55 millimeter or whatever it is, the center point is what? 22.5 something, that value, you take it as it comes. Okay, that is how you fix it for your parabola. Hyperbola, it should be 1.5. The big value. It may be 1 point uh, something else also, but it will not be less than 1 or 1 also, not possible. It should be always hyperbola means your eccentricity value will be more than 1. That is the clue for it. But okay, that is how you construct it and finally make the diagram. It is very simple. All these are arcs. But you are not closing it, you are just leaving it as it is. And one more uh, uh, thing, this hyperbola, if you want to make an ellipse, just for, you know, it, it is not even required for you to draw that, but still I will tell you, if you have an hyperbola like this, in this fashion, you are starting from here and going to this. The opposite side, if you have an hyperbola like this, how do you do? Direct is from here, and even you can go in this side, no, this direction. So this closing of these two points, you can form an ellipse, which you need not require, okay? But this, I am just telling an example. So that is the use of your hyperbola, right? So that is how, this is what your question belongs to and this carries your 20 marks, okay? Fine.